Hello everyone, welcome to Talent Sprint. So in this session of biology, we shall discuss the topic called plant kingdom. So moving on to plant kingdom. So first, the plant kingdom is also called as the kingdom plantae. Okay, so how the plants are classified, we shall discuss in this topic. So this classification dates back to the father of biology aristotle who has distinguished plants to be organisms which does not move so he is the first one to say the plants cannot move okay later a scientist called Linnaeus proposed that the basis of modern classification was the division of between groups plantae and animalia so he gave the division called plantae versus animals that is animalia Okay, so plant classification is called as plantae. So kingdom plantae consists of living multicellular organisms and also known as green plants. They, con they consist of cell walls and mostly chlorophyll. Moving on, the plants are photosynthetic. What do you mean by photosynthetic? They can prepare their own food through using the photo that is here sunlight. Okay, hence they have then autotrophic mode of nutrition which can prepare their own food. So they form a group of plants like flowering plants, conifers, gymnosperms, ferns, mosses, liverworts and green algae. So plants are present both on land, in fresh and marine waters also. Even on salt waters also plants grow. Generally example is mangroves. Hope you have uh, known about Sundarbans, the famous mangrove site in the world which is present both in India and Bangladesh okay they are salt water tolerant uh, species they can grow in the salt waters also so generally there are 2 million species of plants in the world and plants have been living since millions of years ago okay next is evolution of plants so plants are said to have evolved from algae the first to come as a plant is algae it, it has colonized okay and formed colonies on empty landmass. Some some plant fossils suggest that plants would have appeared around 400 million years ago, and the earliest fossils of vascular plants, okay, are about 370 million years old. And flowering plants are said to have origin taken origin around 130 million years ago, okay. So the next is the classification of plants, the very best classification we shall see now. So first is the plant kingdom is classified into two types. Cells and tissues are not highly organized and next is cells and tissues are highly organized. So cells and tissues highly not organized are algae, fungi, bacteria, all these are, their cells are not perfectly organized if i take the perfectly organized in that there is again further classification no vascular tissues having vascular tissues what are these vascular tissues so generally vascular tissues are nothing but we have a thing called xylem and phloem so xylem means these tissues carry food inside the plant and phloem means sorry phloem means food which carry food and xylem means they carry water and minerals these are important vascular tissues for a plant so if they are present again they have another classification if they are not present generally the very best example is bryophytes and in bryophytes liverworts mosses all these are very best examples which doesn't have vascular tissues if it has vascular tissues again there is further classification which is dispersed by spores or dispersed by seeds okay spores means generally we have a dot like structures or if i take the cotton ball and have small small pieces it looks like a spore generally on a bread mold fungi will get at, get attacked right fungi will attack the bread mold so it uh, it is germinating or it is multiplying through the spore formation on that bread mold so dispersed by spores is very best example of pteridophytes they are called as pteridophytes and the pteridophytes have examples of ferns and horsetails and if it is dispersed by seeds again there is further classification if the seeds are covered or if the seeds are covered or not the seeds are not covered they are called gymnosperms the very best example is conifers 
which we see in mountains all those places and if the seeds are covered they become flowering plants the very best example is they are called angiosperms and they are called flowering plants now we shall study all these in detail now first is thallophyta which doesn't have well organized cells and tissue so they don't have well differentiated body they lack a well differentiated body and they belong to the group called thallophyta and this thallophyta is commonly called as algae the majority of them are aquatic means they will be living mostly in water only whether fresh water or marine so very best examples are spirogyra ulva chara cladophora eulothrix all these are belonging to the thallophyta group where the cells and tissues are not well organized next is bryophytes we have seen they don't have perfectly vascular system they don't have xylem and phloem phloem for food and xylem for water and minerals though they have well differentiated plant body for stems leaves etc but they don't have vascular system for the transportation of substances whether water minerals or food bryophytes are found both in land and aquatic habitats and very best examples are liverworts mosses hornworts are examples of bryophytes we need to remember these next is teredophytes okay they have well differentiated structures and vascular system but they are dispersed by spores okay not by seeds so pteron means feather in greek and phyton means plants i've already told you so they look like feather like plants you can see this it is a fern or conifer okay so the plants of teredophytes are mostly terrestrial terrestrial means they live only on land and they prefer shady habitats they lack seeds disclosing mechanism okay next is gymnosperms which are which are dispersed by seeds here the gymnosperm word is derived from two greek words gymno means naked and sperm means sperma means seed so these are plants have well differentiated body and vascular system but they bear seeds but the seeds are naked they are not closed remember in gymnosperms the seeds are naked they are not closed and they are perennial they will occur every time and evergreen woody trees like pine deodar redwood cycas pinus gnetum all these are very best examples of gymnosperms which in which seeds are not enclosed or covered okay pine tree you know it right so it's a very best example of gymnosperm next moving on to the last one that is angiosperms the it is derived from the greek words angio means covered sperma means feed they are also seed bearing plants in which they have well differentiated body and vascular system and seeds are covered in this so mostly they are flowering plants mango tree pomegranate all these are flowering plants and seeds are very best enclosed okay and the seeds germinate from embryonic leaves called cotyledons so depending on the number of cotyledons present angiosperms are further divided into two first is monocotyledon or monocots next is dicotyledon or dicots so we'll see the comparison now so this is single more cotyl down or this is double cotyl down roots are fibrous and tap roots in dicot vascular in monocot scattered in monocot but ringed or perfectly arranged in dicot the leaves have parallel veins all are parallel veins in monocot but net like veins in dicot and multiples of flower uh, three will be in monocot but four or five will be in dicot so this is the classification of plant kingdom topic we shall meet in the next sessions thank you so much